Alright, first Hawaii video, let's go! Imagine you were stranded on an island with no money, no food, and no pizza. Ian, what does pizza have to do Just with anything? Just let me speak, okay? It'll all make sense in the end. And now, imagine that on this island, you were challenged to survive and find a place to sleep, based on the kindness of strangers. What would you do? Alright, maybe I was being a bit dramatic about the whole stranded on an island thing. I mean, it is Hawaii, and I did grow up here. Oh, view is beautiful but we will be surviving based on the kindness of strangers for 24 hours i'm just so excited to be back home after eight years i'm hoping and praying that the aloha spirit otherwise known as the open heartedness of hawaii's people will keep me alive now here are the challenges we face one hawaii is one of the most expensive places out there so relying on other people people I've never met. That much more challenging. Two, it's an island. People come here to enjoy the beach, soak in the sun, not help weird YouTubers with alter egos. Hey, sorry. Three, there's no pizza. I don't know what happened to all the pizza in Hawaii. Dude, again with the pizza? I'm sorry, man, it's important. And before we enter the challenge, I just wanna say, destroy the subscribe button and like this video to join the Ian Nation Battalion otherwise known as the IMB. And also, this video is inspired by Yes Theory and Nico Omilana, two incredible YouTube channels. Now, without further ado, let's hot diggity do this thing. That was really hard to watch, dude. Yeah, I was trying too hard. How about this? It's go time. Did he just? Oh, I can't believe it actually worked. All right, y'all, it's currently 9.42, so we're gonna start the challenge. It's gonna be 24 hours. Start a timer right here. Can you see it? Boom. 942 tomorrow morning is when the challenge ends. I'm officially on no money and relying on just the kindness of others for 24 hours. All right, so the main things I need to get are breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Then I want to see if we can go to some kind of like, I don't know, adventure because we're in Hawaii. Dude, I missed being home in Hawaii so much. I grew up here, but I've never been back as an adult. It's been eight years. Oh, and the thing I need to find, which is the most important probably, is a place to sleep. You can find strangers in real life by asking them, see if anyone's down to let me sleep on their couch or like the floor or anything. And if that doesn't work, I guess I'll have to sleep on the beach. Okay, right now I'm gonna walk towards Waikiki, but I'm going to where all the outlets are because that's where a lot of people go to to hang out. There's a lot of food places and it's just good vibes. So I'll see y'all there. I feel like a lot of this is about finding the right person. I will find the right person, y'all. I will, okay? Just believe in me. It's gonna happen. Oh, uh, can I ask you a question real quick? Oh, yeah. And I'm trying to do a challenge right now. I'm trying to survive on like no money for 24 hours and just the kindness of others. Would you be willing to get me breakfast by chance? If not, it's totally cool. Do you want me to buy you breakfast? <laughs> yeah. Dude, do you want, are you kidding me filming you? This guy's helping me get breakfast, y'all. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> are you cool with me taking my ass down? Yeah. Promise some yeah, backs and everything. Like sweet, sweet. What's your name, by the way? Oh, um, Tommy. Tommy? Uh, Ian, nice to meet you. Ian, yeah, nice to meet you. Are you, you born here and raised here? Yeah, born and raised. Didn't eat breakfast or anything, so uh, any anything is cool with me, like even something super small. I think like anything. Like a little moose to be shop here. Oh, sweet. But I'm down to buy you something nice too, dude. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. I Thank got, you. Wow, me. that means so much. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's your favorite part about Hawaii? The weather, I guess. <laughs> the I weather. like how warm it is here. I was standing right there. He was right there. That wasn't spending money. That was just that was just donating to a good cause. Sleeping at a place tonight is gonna require a lot of time, so we're gonna go ahead and swipe through Tinder. Y'all ready for this? There we go. We're gonna find someone who will hopefully be down to let me sleep on their couch or the floor. I've never had like a Tinder or anything, but <laughs> my friend used to tell me like girls would often say like, oh, a hike is not a first date. My first, my, my favorite first date thing to do is go on a hike. Dude, so dude, like, yeah, yeah it's, it's fun. You get to know someone, you get to know like how adventurous they are. Right, right, okay. Guys and girls, please, please comment down below if you think going on a hike is a good first date. Please, yeah. please, thank you. I think it is. Yeah. Okay, so right right now we're gonna try to find someone who looks like they're down to go on a hike. I could do that today. All right, we're gonna go on a hike.
I can't believe he walked here from Waikiki. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, they didn't allow dogs in here. This I'll is a goodbye with Tommy, yeah. so thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. I'll All give right. you a hug. Thank you, man. I appreciate yes. you. I'll catch you, Tommy. And now we're doing the hike, so maybe I'll see if there's any strangers who want to join me. I feel so in my element here. I just realized I'm the only one wearing slippers. Everyone else is wearing their shoes, their hiking shoes. I'm definitely getting blisters today. I think I'm gonna try to find a stranger to buy me food afterwards. There's some food trucks over there. Ah, oh, beautiful. Do this. <laughs> All right, y'all. So out of the top of the diamond head, there's a military bunker here, and it's actually pretty dope. Check this out. Mia <laughs> watches my YouTube videos. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, that means a lot to me. Nice. Well, nice meeting you. Are you guys from Hawaii? Yes. Nice. There's a no drone sign and lots of people up here and I don't want to bother them so I'm not going to fly my drone. I'll probably go back down, head into the ocean, drink some water, get some food, ask somebody if they're willing to buy me food, <laughs> and then fly the drone out there in the ocean. I just got to the bottom of the hike. Remember in the beginning of the video when I was so shy to like say hi to people? I've been saying hi to people all day now. It's so nice. If I'm gonna try to find a place to stay via a dating app, then I better start messaging people right now. Okay, y'all, so we've made about 50 matches across uh, like Bumble, Tinder, and Hinge. I also did the friend mode, so maybe we might find some friends out of here. So I formulated the message and I think it's good. So it goes. Sorry for starting off with a super long message. This might seem like a crazy request, so feel free to say no if you'd like, but I'm a YouTuber with 3 million subscribers and I'm filming a video titled Surviving on Zero Dollars in Hawaii for 24 Hours Challenge. And I wanted to ask if you'd be willing to let me sleep on your couch or floor tonight. The purpose of this video is to encourage people to be open to kindness and being spontaneous. But again, no worries if not. That sounds like a good message, right? I'm gonna send this to my matches. Let's see what happens. My friend, who I can still kind of call a stranger because I don't know too much about him. And I met him yesterday. We hit it off super well. We went to the beach. We filmed some, some GoPro videos. I'll play them right now. Um, he texted me today, asked me how this challenge is going. So I told him I'm doing it today. And I told him I'm gonna hit up the beach soon. So if he wants to come through, he can come through. Yo, Calvin got here within like two minutes. What in the world? Yo. Dopest guy out here. Got me, what a souvenir. Oh yeah. man, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yo, so Calvin was telling me about Moist Hawaii. So I started Moist Hawaii around five years ago when I was a freshman in college. Before it was a, just a clothing brand. But then as I linked up with more creatives and you know, hang out with them, listen to their stories. Like the whole mission is to Kind of like connect creatives, you know? Yeah. No, yeah. You guys got to hit up Calvin if you ever, if you're creative and you come to Hawaii. Might have a lot of people hitting you up, but... Shit. <laughs> but like... <laughs> I, I want to be busy. You know? Yeah, exactly. Check it out. Let's go. Oh. Yeah. Woo! Let's go. Photographer out here. This photographer's going, Yo. going ham. Hey, what kind Let's of go. Here? All right, sun setting soon. Got the drone prepped. So, next footage is drill. Last night I worked at District Nightclub. And All right. I guess I got some money and nice. 
We're gonna go eat some. Food. That's that's budget. I that's guess. our budget. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank. You. Let's go. Let's go eat. Let's go. <laughs> Sweet. What should we get? The wings. That's all you got. Twenty-eight dollars. Twenty-eight dollars. Oh, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Surviving on this for the next twelve hours. We're doing this. Like I wouldn't be able to. Macaroni with the chicken strips. <laughs> Dude, good luck to you, Thank man. Thank you, man. Good I appreciate luck, it. All right, y'all, back out here on the streets of Waikiki, repping the Moist Hawaii shirt that Calvin gave me. The plan now is to find a place to sleep and crash. If all else fails, I will sleep on the beach. But I'm pretty positive. I'm a, I'm an optimist. I've learned. <laughs> All right, so what you guys just saw is a FaceTime call with a girl that I matched with on Bumble. She's so down to earth, so nice. She's gonna drive out and meet me in Waikiki and possibly gonna get me a hotel room. What the heck? People are amazing. Literally, I thought I was gonna sleep out on the beach tonight, y'all. We'll see what happens. What's that? Oh yeah, go ahead. <laughs> What's up? Oh, Kenzo. All right. Mex from Mexico. Let's go. Okay. So you, you got this camera, right? Yeah. But he doesn't know how to use it. And so I even have a removable <laughs> lens that I have at home. I don't know how to use it. Dude, what the heck? Okay, I'll teach you. Okay, so first thing you gotta know. Wait, so are you are you from Mexico? Or? Yeah. Nice. I was born in Mexico. Oh, dude. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. Yo, I want to go to Mexico. Oh my gosh. Oaxaca. Yeah. O o Oaxaca. Oaxaca. That's where I was born. Is that where all the cenotes are? Uh, that's Cancun. Cancun. Yeah. Okay. I'll probably catch you later, nice man. You. I'll yeah. let you know if I, I go to. Um, hey, I really called? appreciate Oaxaca. you teaching me how to do this. I yeah, dude. Wow, your vlogging is so fun. What the heck? Why did I not do this before? Now I'm still waiting for for my new friend via Bumble. <laughs> that's so cool. I guess if we see a motorcycle pull up, and that's gonna be her. Yo, I think she's here. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. Yo, what? Yo, that's so cool. <laughs> this is Aspen. Yo, yo. She's from, where are you from? New Mexico, Tularosa, New Mexico. Okay, and do you like New Mexico? It's called the land of entrapment, and let's just say I'm glad I got out. So. Hey, let's go. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is, um, I'm gonna try to find food at 7-Eleven. And now Aspen's telling me her story. So, okay. I'm a mutt, um, so I'm kind of like mixed in between uh -huh. um, Apache and Austrian. Okay, and, and Apache is? Apache's a Native American tribe. I'm proud to like take that in, but also yeah. I'm like I'm Austrian, so it's like uh, yeah. different. It's hard. Uh, I like being different. I yeah, know. No, it is fun being different. My friend always called me like a, a hybrid, and so I was like, <laughs> oh, like, I like the sound of that. Those hybrids are cool. But yeah, oh, that's cool. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we are at the 7 Eleven now. <laughs> okay, let's see what ice cream we're gonna get. Dude, the ice cream is so good here. Oh, oh nice. Can you give that? No, I have a spam sleep addiction, so <laughs> um, being deprived of it in California is really bad. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Wait, if, if I'm spending time in my Airbnb that I already bought in the past, then I wouldn't... Okay, wait, you know what? That's that's smart. Okay, since I already got an Airbnb, it wouldn't be spending money if I had gotten it in the past. So we might watch the new season of Attack on Titan at my Airbnb. All right, y'all, it is currently... 11.43 a.m. in Honolulu, which is the city I'm in right now. Which means the surviving on zero dollars for 24 hours in Hawaii challenge is officially completed. The past 24 hours has been a journey, so I wanna close out with a little message. Making new friends or going up to strangers can often be a scary and anxiety striking thing to do. But this challenge taught me that kindness is everywhere. People actually want to help out, be part of a story, and do spontaneous things. I mean, there are literally random people asking to be in the vlog. So my message to you is this. Do what makes you happy. Go out and take risks. Meet people you never thought you would before. And most importantly, be you. 
That's gonna be this channel's overall message from now on. To the Ian Nation Battalion, the IMB. All right, thanks for watching y'all, and be sure to follow me on Instagram at Ian Boggs with a Z, because Ian Boggs with an S was already taken. And like this video. Heck, share it with your friends. Grow the EN Nation Battalion. All right, love y'all. Peace. Wait, you're still here? Watch this video. Bye.